I went to meet someone who, in my naivety, I thought might be able to see both sides of the story. Yusuf Al-Khattab used to be called Joseph Cohen, born and brought up as a secular Jew in New York. In 1998, he moved to Gaza as a Jewish settler. But there he discovered a different God, Allah. What I notice coming to this center of world religions, what a lot of hatred religion fosters. I mean, I'm an atheist and I, I'm rather gentle. I don't, I don't hate people, but it seems to me that I'm hearing hate on all sides mm -hmm. and it seems to me all to do with religion. I hate atheists because atheists don't care if somebody fornicates in the middle of the street. They don't care if they're women go bouncing around on TV, topless, it makes no difference to them. They don't believe in anything. Because you don't believe in a set rule, and you believe that a constitution can change, and you can amend the rules as they go along, and you don't believe in God's rule, then what law do you have? You just have man-made laws. I realized I was in the company of someone who has willingly bought into fundamentalist dogma. Religion is the basis of morality. What do you think about the um, September the 11th attacks on New York and the... <laughs> Um, July the 7th attacks but, Okay, since you like to speak about evolution, I like to start before. What do you think about the Jews that have destroyed over 417 Arab villages, including all mosques and masjids, which wouldn't affect you because you're an atheist? So what are you saying? That we should sit back and say, oh, you know what? Let us progress and let us sit down and drink tea and talk about what to do. I think that's the most ridiculous thing. All I could say is if there was no quote-unquote state of Israel, there would have been no September 11th. But if we've all got to live together, it's not going to be helped if there are people of very, very strong faith who simply know they're right and are not amenable to argument. Because there's somebody out there who's just as faithful as you and has his faith just as strong as yours, which is opposite to yours. You see, the problem is, Richard, I think that you have fear. You know that this party of occupying Muslim lands and polluting society with these evil ideas that are around, it's not going to last forever. There will always be the soldiers of Allah there to give the, the response to this. So we also want the same thing. All we want is that we want the non-Muslims at this point off the lands of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All the lands of Muhammad, we want the kuffar out of it. Do you want Islam to take over the rest of the world? Of course I want it to, and it will. So my advice is to clean up your show at home, take your forces off our lands, correct yourselves, fix your society, all right? Fix your women. Uh, fix your women. That's not my business. That's my women's business. No, it's, no it is women. your business. It is your business. When you take the women and dress them like whores on the street. I don't dress women. They dress themselves. Do not. But you allow it as a norm to let the women go on the street dressed like this. What's going on with your society? But I am interested in religion and the effect that it has on people's minds. And I'm worried about And we're very worried about you. What's going on with the stealing, with the theft? It's out of control.